Here's part two of our common questions uh, for car titles. So another question that comes up very frequently is what's an easy state to get a title from? Well, every state is exactly the same. Either they give a title or they don't. In fact, um, unless you are a resident of the state, you can't get a title from another state. You have to be a resident of almost every state. There's a couple exceptions where you can use a process in another state uh, to get a title if you have a bill of sale, but you're not getting a title from the other state. You're getting a registration, which then you exchange to your state. So um, the days of like easy states and hard states and flipping vehicles back and forth between different states, it's called title jumping or title washing. First of all, the states are all pretty much the same. And there's common databases. There's federal databases that connect all the VIN numbers. So that's not really possible. In fact, if you're doing that process for the purpose of trying to evade taxes or wash a title, it's actually probably a crime to do it. Um, so there's really no purpose in doing it because it's just going to cost you more money. Almost every scenario, no matter what state you're in, has a process in your state that you can use to get a title, whether it's a bonded title, magistrate title, prior owner contact, VT reg transfer. Look on our website. We have all 22 methods of getting a title that you can use to get a title from your state because if you're a resident of your state, that's where the vehicle has to be registered at some point. Another question that comes up a lot is about bonded titles. Uh, I'm sorry, abandoned titles, abandoned vehicles. Um, the easy answer is, Vehicles aren't finders keepers. Just because you have possession of a vehicle doesn't mean you can get a title. Now, if there's a vehicle that is unclaimed, there may be some methods to go through to get a title, uh, but that's different than uh, just claiming a vehicle by possession. Possession doesn't give you rights to the ownership unless you go through these paperwork processes. And there's a whole section about that on the website, how to fill out the forms, what paperwork to file. You may have to publish notice in the newspaper. You may have to send uh, certified mail to uh, other owners. And that brings up another subject that's related that is mechanics liens. So a lot of people say, well, I fixed this car, I fixed it up, the guy didn't want to pay the bill, and uh, I want to get a title. Well, if that's the case, if you're a licensed repair facility, a licensed you know, car mechanic, your license package, and you probably have a three ring binder on the shelf of your garage, has the forms for you to get a title with your mechanics license. Um, and you fill out the forms, follow the steps, and you'll get a title. If you're not a licensed mechanic, that process won't work because you have to attach your license to it. And you have to certify that the license number actually fixed the car. And in most cases, you have to have a signed repair bill from the owner showing that you had permission to fix the car. If you don't have that, it's not going to work. There may be other methods to get a title, but don't jump right to mechanics liens or don't pay some other mechanic to process this because that will be fraud. And there's uh, major crackdowns of DMVs on uh, using mechanics liens to get titles when that mechanic never worked on the car. Uh, the DMVs look at that very clearly to see how much work that mechanic did based on their sales tax versus how many mechanics liens they file. And if it doesn't match up, they're going to pull the title. Last question is how much is a title bond? Title bonds are based on the value of the vehicle. Um, it's a very small percentage on average. You know, a title bond might cost you $100 or so. It's a very cheap price to pay to get a title when you don't have the old title. So those are the uh, top eight or nine common questions. Look for part three. We'll have a couple more of the unique questions that come up uh, in our 